Okay guys, I think we can start now. Let's allow me to start my camera. Uh, okay. Good evening everyone. Hope you're all safe and doing good. Um, first of all, as you may already know, uh, I am Malak Ajram and I'm the Vice Chair of the LIU IEEE Student Branch and I'll be hosting today's event. Um, okay, so speaking of today's event, it's oh, we're going to discuss iOS application development, as you may already know, uh, with our speaker, Mr. Hussain Jabir. So let me introduce him to you. Uh, Mr. Hussain Jabir has attended the Faculty of uh, Engineering at the Lebanese International University and studied computer engineering computer and communication engineering for five years, and he, learned, he landed his uh, first job at uh, Omega Software Incorporation as an iOS developer, and he worked at several other corporations like um, VineLab, RayLabs, and um, FindRE, and he is currently working at CME as a full-time uh, senior iOS developer. So he has overall uh, over 10 years of experience in the field of iOS application development. Uh, back to our event, uh, allow me to walk you through what we're going to discuss um, during our webinar today. Uh, first of all, we're going to learn the basics of iOS application uh, development framework, and we're going to build a very basic application using the same framework. And at the end of the webinar, we're going to discuss what you should expect uh, when choosing a career uh, as an app developer. Uh, but before we begin, I need to let you guys that uh, this uh, webinar will be recorded and will be posted on our YouTube channel um, soon. And of course, you'll be notified. Uh, Mr. Hassan Jabir, I need to let you know as well that you can use both English and Arabic during your presentation, of course, uh, because some of us may be French educated and whatnot. Um, and one more thing for everyone, if you have um, any question uh, for a speaker, Hussain Javid, uh, you can, of course, turn on your mic and ask away, of course. And uh, if that's for us, the chat box and we'll answer you, of course. Uh, now, without further ado, let's begin with our webinar. And Mr. Hussain Javid, um, the screen is yours. Thank you, thank you. Um, so first of all, I have to thank you personally. Thank you and for the IT for, uh, for inviting me to this webinar. I'm really uh, happy. First of all, does anyone here does not, not speak Arabic? Arabic? Cool. Um, so Malak did a proper uh, Introduction about myself. I don't need to add anything more. Thank you. So, uh, basically, um, um, how I split this webinar, we had a small introduction. Uh, I limited it only to seven slides, so I won't bore you too long. Um, then, yeah, we will have a, a small demo. I introduce you to Xcode, the IDE. Uh, some tools uh, you could use um, once you land a uh, full-time job. Uh, so I start with the presentation. Anyone who has any questions, you can interrupt me and ask me uh, immediately. I'm fine with that. The more the questions, uh, the better. Um, moment, just to share my screen. I have too many screens for my It's okay, take your time. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. 
Okay, now can you can you see my screen? Yes. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Which one? Do you see a timer? Um, no, we don't see a timer. No. Okay, it's only I don't see one. Okay, so this outline will start an introduction to Sorry. Okay, uh, introduction to iOS development. What you need basically before you start, the basics of iOS, um, small history about Swift, the programming language we will be using in this uh, webinar, and a demo. I try to make it fast to these points, I don't want to bore you. So let's get started. First of all, um, uh, iOS in general um, stands for iPhone operating system. You all use it if you have an uh, iPhone, basically, and you get updates to the iOS every month and a major one every year. Inside this uh, operating system, there are a lot of tools and frameworks for developers to use when building um, iOS. So before using these tools, we need to know about the languages that we use. So. Basically now it's Swift. Um, I'll talk about, uh, more about Swift in the next slide. Um, so what do you actually need to start iOS development? So you need a machine capable of running Mac OS. So it's basically a Mac, either an iMac, a Mac Mini, uh, a MacBook. Um, yeah, this is a bad limitation, but you can't escape from it. There, there are some workarounds, people who Build what's called Hackintosh. It's mainly a Microsoft uh, device where they install some tools <clears throat> and will be able to, to install Mac OS, but sometimes it breaks on the next update. Or so it's not a guaranteed solution. I read some words that you can use a virtual machine. I tried this several years ago, it didn't work. I don't know if, if, if today's uh, software uh, made this work actually. So once you get a MacBook, you need to download Xcode. It's the IDE, so for people familiar with Android development, it's like Android Studio. Okay. Um, the most question I get asked is, do I need a degree, either in computer science or in uh, engineering or any field um, where you uh, get a world of programs? But the basic answer is no. You don't. You, you do not need a degree to be able to make iOS applications. The first story is my story. I, I was a student at LIU and in the faculty of engineering. And at the end of the third year, you have to make a senior project. So until that, I only had like two, three courses of programming: introduction to programming, which was in C++. Um, there was intermediate, it was object-oriented Java, and then there was operating systems, which was in C. So mm -hmm. nothing near anything dealing with mobile devices or even a user interface to, to work around with. Um, at the last year, well, I decided to make an iOS app as my uh, senior project. It took me some time. I cried a lot, to be honest. Uh, I, I wasn't going to give up. But finally, I did it. I made a small app. Um, it, it reads news feeds using RSS feeds, which, yeah, don't do this now. It's, it's outdated. No one uses RSS now. We discuss what we use when we go through our demo. So I had a computer, enge computer engineering degree. It's not computer science. And I was able to learn iOS. And now, yeah, I have more than 10 years of experience. Another story I need to share because it's very important. So I have my friend. You're still seeing my screen, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool. Um, I had a friend who um, graduated as a nurse. Um, and once Lebanon faced the financial crisis, they started to pay them peanuts instead of real money. So he asked me if I can teach him iOS development because most of these jobs pay him fresh dollars, and I told him, I can help you, actually. 
not teach you, but I can help you to learn. And he came to my place every day for like five, six hours, sitting beside me and just reading books, uh, watching courses, videos online, um, and me helping him. A year later, he quit his job. Now he found a job in a company in Hamra, and he's getting paid more than peanuts. Uh, so this is the second success story. So you don't need a degree. It's good to have it, but most companies don't even care about what degree you have. They care about your experience, attitude, how you fit in a team, and how much do you really care to learn. It's about passion more than just you know finishing your job and going home. Moving to Swift. So before Swift, we had Objective C. It's now an out, it's not outdated. It's too hard. It's missing a lot of modern features which you can't find in all of the modern languages like Swift, Kotlin, Python, or whatever. Um, Swift was introduced in 2013. Actually, my senior project I wrote it in Objective C, and the day before my presentation, um, yeah, Apple announced they introduced Swift, and uh, oh, was a uh, cool. Well, thanks. I spent four months learning Objective-C, but that's not, it's not a loss because there are still um, legacy projects which use Objective-C, even Facebook, most of its code base is still in Objective-C. You can look it up, I didn't add any, any uh, what is it, snippets, you won't use it in any future job. Um, yeah, so Swift was introduced in 2013, they started version 1, which wasn't stable at all. It evolved till now. We're now at version 5.7. Every year it gets an update, and with this update, Apple, and actually it's an open source project, so anyone can contribute to Swift and add features to it if the uh, community agrees to it. So every year they add new features and improvements, enhancements that make uh, developers' lives easier. Um, yeah, it's also really easy to learn. It's a simple language in terms of terminology, in terms of uh, how to understand it. The documentation is wonderful and, and simple. You can find it, I think, on swift.org. Um, also, I need to mention it's a static and safe language. So if, if you work with um, JavaScript or Python, for example, in Python you can declare a variable as an integer at line one and then change it to uh, string line five, and no one would complain about this. So in Swift, no, you can't do this. The compiler will, 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 not, will not even allow you to build your project uh, before uh, fixing this issue. We will see this when, when we go to the demo, but I have to mention it. Um, mainly, Swift comes shipped with a standard library. It's included, which allows you to use Swift on other devices, not only Mac OS. You can compile Swift on Linux. Um, there are people who are uh, coming up with, with implementations of Swift to be used as a server side. Uh, so it's not limited to Mac OS. Mainly the standard library includes all the data structures you all know about. Strings, arrays, dictionary, date, sets, class, struct, interfaces, etc., etc. So here comes iOS. So as we, we said, it's an iPhone operating system. It was first introduced in 2007 with the first iPhone. It was initially called iPhone OS. And then is the I think with the introduction of the iPad, it was renamed to iOS, and both shared the same name until two, three years ago. Um, <coughs> iOS contains all the framework, the frameworks, the, the toolkits that you use to develop iOS apps. Um, later, we will see this in Xcode 2. We have WatchOS for the Apple Watch, TVOS, and macOS, which was previously called OS X. So even the, the, the great thing about this is you can write literally one project and make it work on your iPhone, your iPad, and your Mac with the same code base, which is really great. So moving to the frameworks, as I mentioned, 
common of we use Swift as a language to access these frameworks, to talk with the APIs of these frameworks. And these frameworks allow us to access features that are on the device. For example, your location or the photos or uh, UI interactions as like when a user taps a button or enters a character using a keyboard. Famous frameworks uh, you could work with are called location. This is when the app asks you to, to allow the app to access your location. Same if you photo through WhatsApp, it asks you for permissions to uh, access your photos uh, library. Mapkit, if you ever uh, see a map, not a Google map, an Apple map in your app. And the big elephant in the room is UI kit. I have a separate slide for this. So for an example, like Photos Kit, it's actually named Photos. Um, you use this, so you import photos, you use its API to request access from the user to allow your app to access their photo library. When they approve that, you can have full access to the photo library, you can display the photos in any, any way you can. There are many use cases for this. One thing we need to know about iOS and how it works is the sandbox thing. A sandboxing is like so you have a big box, and each application, which is a, the operating system, and each application in, on, the, on the operating system is a small box inside the big box. No other, no application can know anything about the other app. You can't access anything from from any other app except if it's an app you built. So they share the same group group, group ID. But you can't see what's in Facebook. You can't access as your SMS. You can, Android can do this. But iOS, it's forbidden. It's just for privacy. You don't want any app to read your SMS or your private emails or your notes, etc. So not everything is accessible. Most of the things that users need, although are. are. Uh, so yes, yeah, this is the last slide, I promise. Uh, UI kit. So this is what our demo will be about. So it will be Swift and UI kit. All apps you use today rely and depend on UI kit. As its name, uh, obviously, uh, UI stands for user interface. So you can create a variety of types of user interfaces. Everything you see on the screen is part of UI kit, like UI button. By the way, all UI elements you use in codes start with a UI in, in iOS. UI button, a UI table view, which is a list, I think, in Android. Um, and the first of your chat and WhatsApp, it's a, a table view. Um, UI collection view, so for those who have iPhones, if you open your photo library, a small squares of photos, this is a collection. Um, we won't be going to you today, we will just stick to the table view. Uh, basically, that's all I have in theory. Um, we have 16 minutes, so we still have 40, 45 minutes to go through the practical stuff and yeah, make you more uh, excited. But for now, does anyone have any questions, any concerns, anything they didn't understand, any idea? I, I'm, I'm ready here to, to listen and try to answer it. No? Zero? Okay. Then I'll start with the demo. Just need one minute. And I lost the mouse. Okay. Okay, so before opening Xcode, one of the questions I used to ask myself before starting, how do I do the designs? 
do I have to imagine? Do I get them written, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, painted on a paper, whatever. So, because we're talking about this, I would like to show you how it's really done in real life. So, this is an app I'm working on now. And this is a screen where the application asks the user to subscribe. Um, the application here, or the product we're using to get these designs is called Figma. It's a famous application. Most of the development teams use it. And there's also um, Zeppelin, um, but they, they share the same con uh, concept. Basically, a designer after, so basically the business people of the app, the managers, they come up with an idea, they communicate it with the designer who gives the idea to something that can be viewed, and also the managerial team or the manager, whoever, they write down the requirements, what do they want us to do. We as developers, we just also translate these requirements and the design into technical issues. So first ticket is, I don't know, I want to add this button, and when tapping this button, I do want to see, etc. Let's stick with the design first. So in, in general, you get a design like this. Let's focus on this button. You'll get the color here. You'll get all the information you need. Um, about the font, if you tap on the font here, you get all the information you need about the font. Uh, the most important part is how wide it is from the left and the right, uh, right area, how, uh, how, what's the distance between the button and the bottom area. And then you go to your code, you, you design a button, we, will, we make a button just like this in a few moments. You set the title, whatever you want, and you assign it to an action. So when I press this button, this action will happen. Um, yeah, mainly that's what I wanted to share with you about, uh, what is it called? About how designs are delivered to, to developers. Uh, uh, okay, now, yes? Um, I'm sorry for interrupting, but uh, someone has a question in the chat box. Yusuf Saad, he's asking, is it necessary to learn Swift to build an iOS app. I know some people, they build an app entirely using JavaScript. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I can talk about it, so. Um, yes. Okay, so, yeah. There's always this war between um, native and uh, hybrid. Uh, React, I believe it's React. Um, Google has Flutter. So you write one code base and you ship it to, uh, to, to different platforms. So first of all, even if you uh, don't want to learn Swift, you still need a MacBook to compile the app. First thing. Second thing is what, what's happening these days. So mainly small companies who want to ship, um, MVPs, um, most valuable product. So many, it's a mini product of the, of the, of the big, so I have a product in mind. I want to share it with the investors. I do the minimum possible just to sh show it and, and take that approval. So I, I, I get investment. Yeah, they go with, with hybrid solutions just for, to save on spending. So I don't want to hire two developers. I hire one developer. Bigger companies. Yeah. All big companies. You can research online. Even Facebook, they started with a hybrid app, React JS, I think, and they rewrote the whole app and Swift and oh, iOS again for Objective C. Uh, Notion, if you're aware of Notion, and Instagram, lots of applications. When they grow and scale, it's very hard to maintain if you're not using the, the native technology because it has its limitations. So every time Apple up, updates the iOS, they have to update it. The, the, um, the APIs to access these new updates in the iOS. Um, it's good for small demos, for small, maybe you want to build your own small product, you have your small idea in mind, but basically big companies, they ask for native, uh, unless it's, it's small apps, you know, you have a small guide app, yeah, you don't want to spend too much time maintaining it. But any big product, it's, it's certainly native. Uh, I talk too much about this. Um, who, who asked the question, actually, Yusuf? 
Yeah, um, Yusuf, you have any other questions about this? Anything to discuss together? Okay, cool. Cool. Okay. Now let's get back to it. So the first time you open Xcode, when you try to create a new project, you will get this list of options to create a project. So as I mentioned the first time, you can select multi-platform. Uh, a multi-platform app will work on uh, an iPhone, an iPad, and a Mac, and to even get a target for your watch app. But we're not going to go this road. We're going to iOS. They have some templates you could use, 99 percent of the time you're going to select this one and app. So, okay, if anyone feels I'm going too fast, if everyone, if anyone thinks he's not understanding, he's not following up, whatever, just let me know. I'm not looking at the chat, so, so just, you know, ping me in any way possible. Um, so, first of all, you have to choose a name for your product. So. We name it webinar demo. Um, teams, basically, to to submit an app to the store, you have to purchase an Apple Developer Program. It's a hundred dollars a year. You can, if you don't want to ship, you get a free. Uh, you can use your Apple ID for free and do your local development. But there are some things that you can't test without a paid membership, like. Push notifications, those notifications you get on your screen. Um, if you want to add payments to your app, well, you need to have a, a paid uh, account to test these. But in general, for most cases, you don't have. So I knew my team. Uh, organization identifier. Um, yeah, it's a unique identifier for your app. No one else can use it. So you, for example, it's, it's a reverse domain. So it could be like uh, com. I triple E and then the identifier of the app is com dot I triple E dot web webinar webinar demo sorry. Um, yeah, this will stick with this app forever. There are more things about this I won't uh, I won't mention now just for the sake of time. So, um, there are two ways you can make your interface Swift UI. I talk about Swift UI at the end of, of, of my demo. And the storyboard, so we'll stick to storyboard. As you see, you can select between Swift and Objective-C, we'll stick to Swift. Core data, we don't use it now. It's a mini database you can implement in your app for local storage. And tests, um, yeah, we won't include this too, but for those when we don't know what tests are. So basically, when you, you write code, it's a good practice to write tests that test that the code you wrote is functioning correctly. So I have a function which adds two numbers. I give it a number one and number two, and it should return the sum. I write a test for this. And every time before I ship my app to the, to the users or to the app store, I run my tests again and make sure that nothing got broken. Next week, I add no, no, more changes. I, when I finish, I go back, run the tests, because while I'm doing these changes, I could have broken some other functionalities. Um, I run the tests, if they pass, then the app is ready for shipment, and so on. Just uh, to make it clear, uh, nobody writes tests, at least in Lebanon. I never went to a company where someone asked me to write tests, and I don't think we'll face anyone. They always require it in, in the job description, but when you arrive, yeah, you'll never hear about this term again. So don't worry about it now. Okay, um, you select where you want to save this project, and here we go. Okay, there's a lot of stuff to digest here, so let's start on the left. Um, here is your files, okay? This is the project name, a folder which contains all the files. With every project you create, you get an app delegate. 
and I'm not gonna get you, you can understand from the naming what it does. Mainly it 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 um, handles the whole life cycle of the application. For for example, this function will get called when the app did finish launching. So you open the app, it launched, you wanna do some stuff here before the actual launch point, you add them in this function. The same goes for, for the others. There are some functions here that you would never use. Theme Delegate, the same thing, but the, this was introduced three, four years ago because on iPads now you can have multiple themes for the same app. So don't worry about this. For now, uh, what we need to focus on is the storyboard. So every project you create has a file called main. Its extension is dot storyboard, if, if you can see it now. Okay, um, and here's how Storyboard works. So, you see this is a view. It's actually an iPhone 14 Pro. You can change it to whatever you want. We we'll stick with the iPhone 14 Pro. It's a plain view. There's nothing in it till now. Okay. What holds this view in iOS is a view controller. Um, I just need to go quick, uh, quick, very quick about the MVC architecture. Um, I don't know if any one of you is familiar with this. So MVC stands for Model, View, and Control. You can imagine the model as the information. I have a user. This user has a first name, a last name, and an email. This is a model. The view is everything you see on the screen. There's a text label where you can see the user's first name, second name, and his email. And there's a button where you tap it, and you can edit these fields. Okay. Then here comes the view controller. The view controller fetches the information from the model and presents them, or, or, or yeah, presents them in the view. Then if you press the button, the view controller will get informed and it will go and update the model. I, I, I hope I described it simply. If anyone has any question about this, let me know. So basically I have a view controller which has a view inside it, okay? Now this view is, as you see, empty right now here. Um, let us try and build the app and see what will happen. We will do it on an iPhone 14. Okay. Basically, we see what we saw on the storyboard, an empty screen. Speaking of simulators, uh, you can select a list of simulators here to run your, your project on. So you want to try it on an iPad, on an iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone XS, SE, whatever. Yeah, you can run as many uh, simulator instances as you want, or you can run it on your uh, own device too. Uh, going back to the storyboard. So this storyboard is called the main. What we can do here is we can tap this plus button here and we can add from a list of UI elements which all belong to UI kit. So if, if you see the label here, it says UI label and it presents a read-only text and there's some information about this. So let's go and add a label here. And now it won't go. Okay. And let's say hello. Now let's run again. Cool. So yeah, it looks easy, right? So we just added the label and we added the text, and we are done. Okay. Um, speaking about storyboard before we go into codes, um, you know, you see, this is not centered at me. And if I add more text here, it, it won't center, right? Um, previously when we owned, before iPhone, so you see it, it looks ugly. And the more the text, 
the problem with the paper. I add more text. Notice that it went completely out of the screen. So previously, before the iPhone 5, uh, the app had only one size for, for all of the devices. So it was easy to, to hand, you know, you, don't, you didn't have to care about how would this look on this size or on this size. Now we have a five, six different sizes of devices and the interface will look different between each device. So at that time, they added something called constraints. What a constraint is, so let's go back to here. Um, I tell this view when I press control, tap on it, and move to the left. Okay. Leading means left, and leading means right. So I tell it I want a leading space to save area. So I added a constraint here, it's 22 points. So whatever happens to the device, how, how much big or small it gets, I always am sure that the space between the leading side of the label and the leading side of the, uh, and the leading frame, sorry, the leading frame of the label and the re leading frame of the device is 22 points. And I go and do the same here as trailing. Okay. Make it 22. Now it's still complaining because, okay, it knows uh, what to do on the leading or trailing, but it doesn't know what to do um, in the vertical. Where should it position itself vertically? So we just pull up, top space. Let's make this 100. Let's see what happens. Okay, it worked. So if I change the device now, make it smaller, bigger, this will still work. Um, basically. So then I can get back to here and add a button. Same thing. I need to add constraints to this button, but now I don't. I'll just say um, center horizontally. So it will center with the screen and keep the distance from here to here, like, I don't know, also 100. If we run it again, we see the button and the label. This is all good, but we need a way to know that we tapped the button, and we need a way to change the text inside our label. So let's go to the view controller. So first of all, in the storyboard, if you tap here and go here, you will see that the class that is controlling this view is named view controller. You can tap here. Yep, and it's broken. It doesn't work. So you can go here and tap on view controller. This class will control everything in the view controller you see here. And let's dive a bit deeper. Okay. To do this, we have to connect these UI elements to the class. How you do this is you control, tap control, pull to the class, and give it a name. Let's name it title. Maybe. We do the same for the button. Uh, I don't know. Login button. Now, now we have references to these two types. We also need an action uh, item. So I, whenever the button is pressed, I, I need to see something. So let's pull here. If you see now, the connection is an action. If you look here, the connection is an outlet. An outlet is like a representation of this button, a reference to this uh, label or this, this button, so I can uh, change its characteristics. I'll show you how in a few moments. Now we need an action for this button. So we say button tap. Okay. And what we'll do here is um, when the button is tapped, we view the background color equal to, I don't know, um, red. Okay. Uh, let's try this. Okay, it worked. 
So, to recap this again, I add the views in the view controller inside the storyboard. Second thing is, I have to assign a view controller class to this view controller. If you look here, this class is named view controller, and it's a subclass or inherits from UI view controller. It has to, else it won't work. Okay? Since this is a view controller, the class has to be an instance, a subclass from UI view controller. Then I add my UI elements. These are very two simple ones now. I add my UI elements, I uh, construct outlet connections with the class, and I add action connections in case I need to, to, to execute some code based on an action like a button tap or whatever. Um, why could we use these two here? So we can say here title label dot text equal uh, programmatic text, you run it, and the text has changed. Uh, I hope you all saw it, right? But I also want to make uh, the text alignment to be centered. Looks better. Uh, most of these, or almost, almost all of these, can be done here. So if, if you tap on the label, um, I don't know what this inspector's name is, but anyway, attribute inspector. So you can change the text from here, you can change the color, um, let's move to green, you can change the font, um, the alignment, you don't have to do it in code, it's a you know, personal preference. The number of lines, so you can specify, I want this label to have a maximum number of one line. If you want an infinite line, you make it zero. If, if, if you notice, oops, sorry, um, here, when it's one, it just cuts out the text because it doesn't fit in one line. But if I make it zero, it's infinite. So how much text I add to this, it goes higher and higher. There are other uh, uh, characteristics and properties you can uh, change here. We won't dive into these for now. So back to the view controller, actually, um, just a small dive into um, the life cycle of the controller. So mainly there are a few functions that you um, inherit from a view controller. Okay, so um, we, we almost always use these functions when we want to instantiate a, a view. So this function gets called by by the system, whenever a view did load. So, um, if you look at the demo here, whenever it loads, it changed the, the uh, text to programmatic text. So, th this gets called only one time in the life cycle of the view. View will appear and did appear, will get called every time you go to this view. So, for example, um, you open this view, you tap the button, you went to another screen, then you tap back. These two functions will get called. Why is it important to know the difference? Because sometimes, if every time you see the screen, you wanna, you know, you, re you refetch data, you wanna update the screen, you want. So you have to do this uh, in these uh, functions. And lastly, view that disappear. It's obvious. Whenever this view disappears, I don't know, I want to change something, I want to update something, I want to stop a timer, I want to stop an API call, which is just wasting resources. Okay? Uh, we won't need these now. So let's move to something more practical. We still have 10 minutes, um, so I'll try my best to, to squeeze out the most I can. So let's delete this and this and the outlet from here and start fresh. Okay. Mainly this project, we will have a small login screen. It won't log in, it will be just a fake. You, you enter whatever you want. The next page, if time helps me, we will fetch a bunch of photos uh, from a server and display them in a table on the screen. So, okay? So, one more thing before we start this. Uh, this is a view control, right? 
In order to navigate to other views, we have two types of navigation. We have the present navigation, which um, I don't know if I, I have an example here to show you. Um, um, I don't think there's an example. But anyway, if you look here, if you if I tap on general, it did push screen. This is handled by something called a UI navigation controller. It's invisible, but every time you, you push a new screen, it works like a stack. So, screen one, you push a button, screen two gets stacked above it, then screen three gets stacked above it. You push back, screen three gets pushed out, or popped out. You push back, screen two gets popped out. There's no more back. So. A UI navigation controller starts with an initial screen, and every time you you push a new screen above it, it's stacked with an unlimited stack. So we will need this now. Why? Because when we tap now, I think we designed this. We tap the login button. We need um, to push another screen <laughs> to do the small. This small arrow, arrow here indicates the starting point of the application. Which view should I initially show when the application launches? I can move it to here, but in this case, a navigation controller would be useless if I move it to, to this controller. We keep it here, okay? And We'll start by adding a small text field here. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Hussain, can I ask a question, please? Yes, yes, sure, sure, sure. What, what does this arrow do again? I know you can show it off, so I don't quite understand. Okay, so this is Can you, can you still hear me? Uh, personally not. Uh, guys, cool. can anyone hear the speaker? It's, it's working yeah, on this copy. Just give me a moment. Eh? Yeah, alright, take your time, it's okay. Too long. No, I was saying take your time, it's okay. Yes. 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 Guys, can everyone hear the speaker? Yes, yes. 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 So basically, هذا الأرو الصغير اللي هون بحدد which screen is the first screen to appear when the app gets launched. Okay? Yep. يعني خلينا نعطيك إكزامبل تاني. I add a new view controller هون. وضحت ولا بعطي إكزامبل؟ No, I think um, it's pretty like, clear. You know, just in where to okay. start, what page to start from. Exactly. يعني بس عندي هلا هون انا تو تو كنترولرز رايت في عندي هذا اللي عش هذا اللي هو المفروض في تكست فيلد واللي امبيدد انسايد النافيجيشن كنترولر فالارو ببلش هون اف اي موف ذا ارو هير على هذا ذا نكست تايم اي لونس ذا اب ات ويل ستارت وذ ذيس سكرين هول تو سكرينز اصلا ما بيعملوا بيعملوا خلص ذا نوت كونكتد اني اني وير تو ذيس سكرين ويتش از انيشال سكرين جات ات او كونفيوز اكثر no, no, thank you so much. Very clear. Cool, cool. So we'll delete this. Okay. Um, 
طيب بنرجع لهون بدنا نعمل لوجين سكرين صغيرة سو so, حنبلش بتكست فيلد اوكي خليني ارجع لها سو طلع هذا تكست فيلد السمول باتون هون بتاع التكست فيلد بحطه هون I want this text field ومن شوي عملنا ال constraints manually خلينا نعملهم هلا هون في هون button صغير add new constraints so I want it to be 87 points from the top I want it to be uh, 16 points from the left side and 16 points from the right side I tap add constraints boom it's now here you can, you can see it regardless of the device size It will always be 16 right, 16 left, and what was it, 100 or 87 from the top. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add a placeholder. So uh, please uh, enter your. You see a placeholder inside the text field. You can change its UI like um, these are rounded corners, this is rectangular corner, you, uh, borders. You can remove the borders. We'll keep it as it is now. Um, The other stuff you, you can, for example, if, if this uh, field expects um, what a name, yeah, you can give a hint to the operating system. Look, this field is accepting, expecting a name. So it can suggest your name in the keyboard. You don't have to pull it out. Same goes if it's an email, a password. It can generate new passwords for you. If it's a one-time code, these codes you get from SMS. It's very helpful. Um, You can also, you know, the return key, do you want it to go, next, done, etc. These are details. I, I, you, if you ever get into IELTS development, yeah, you'll uh, discover that they're not, uh, they're not easy. They're not hard to miss. But there's also one option to uh, secure text entry. So if you have a password, yeah, you won't see the characters, you, you'll see dots. Anyway, so We added the text field. We want the user to enter his name, and when he enters his name, he want, we want him to press on a button. Okay. And when, let's name this button uh, continue. Okay. Let's add the constraints too. So we'll say it's 100 from the top, um, 100 from the left, and 100 from the right. There we have our constraint. So every time we have the screen, the button will be um, 103 points. Let's make it 100. 103 points far from the text field. Okay. Now the expected result is when the user taps continue, we want to show a new screen. So to do this, we'll add a new view controller. So view controller. We we'll put it here. But we'll do nothing now. We'll, we go and finalize this view first. So to do this, we open the file. If you tap, if you tap uh, option on a Mac and another file, it will split the screen like this. Okay, Jude? Okay. So first I need a reference to the text field. And I need the, an action of the button. Basically, if you add, if you add, if you pull this arrow to the top of the class, it will automatically be an outlet. Okay, like this. It's an outlet. You can change it to an action. It's fine. An outlet is a reference to, to the field or the UI element, so you can access it, change its properties, etc. Okay, an action is what do I want to do when this action happens? So every time on an event which is touch, touch up inside, which is basically a tap on the button, I want to execute what's inside a function I will name tap continue button. Let me know if I'm going too fast, please. Um, so now every time I tap this button, um, something will happen. Should happen. Now nothing happens. So let's make it do something, okay? So we, will, we want the user to enter a name, and if he, if he doesn't enter the name, we want to show an alert that please enter your name. So to do this, we first, okay, so uh, to declare a constant or a variable in Swift, you have two ways. You have either let number equal five, you have let number Two of type integer equal five, 
both cases work. In the first case, the compiler knows how to infer the type. It knows what type you're uh, declaring without specifying the type or hinting the type. So if you tap option here, it's an integer. If I change this to 5.0, this will become a double. And if I change it to false, it will become, oops, sorry, a boolean. Okay, this is fine here. If I try this here, so I told the compiler, look, number two will be an integer, and I will initialize it with false. It will cry after a few moments. Cannot convert a value of type bool to a specified type integer. So, uh, and, and another thing is let so let variables can't be changed. So if now I'm not try, try to make number equal to, it will complain and will tell me change let. You cannot assign number because it's a let constant. Change it to var to make it mutable. So now if I go here and make it a variable. Now I can change this number whenever I want. Actually, it's not a number to check. So the first thing we want to do in order to know the user did enter a name or not is to check if he if there are any characters inside the text. So we say let character equal text field this one dot text dot count you you can immediately see a question mark what's this question mark so swift has um, this is also part of its safety system some items when you do any program could have no value it's like a null in java i think they have no value at all so you could you could either fill them with fake value like instead of having uh, null you fill them with an empty string so what swift is telling me here is this text field it has text but we are not sure that it it has a value in it or nil nil in swift stands for null in other languages so for this case we add this just to make sure that if there's nothing in it, we won't execute the, the next. Uh, I'm chaining a function hog. And uh, any text field, I'm accessing accessing its text. But I'm accessing the count of the text. So I had an optional chaining, or any an optional, by the way, this way. So every type you, you can uh, like this. It's a text, it's a string with a question mark. This is an optional. And for example, home, I think the default value is nil. So, I access the text field, I access its text, but it's an optional value. So, I then try to access the count of the text. A question mark here does mayari. If there is text, return the count and assign it to characters. If there's no text, so text is nil, don't execute, don't get the count, just assign the result of this, which is nil, to characters. So now if I look at characters, it's an optional int. It could be an integer, and it could be nil. Okay? There are several ways to solve this. The first most dangerous one is replacing the question mark with an exclamation mark. An exclamation mark is a force unwrap. So we have an optional which either has a wrapped value in it or nil. This is why it's called unwrap. So it's a box, you open it, either it's empty or there's a value in it. With a question mark, it's safe to access it, but as a result, the, the, the result you get out of the box could be either an integer or nil. So it's an optional integer. First thing I can do is force unwrap, but still here? Okay, raise the hand. Yeah, go, go on, go on, Papa. Um, the exclamation mark, uh, sorry, sorry, the question mark, is it just like the Turner operator concept? 
No. No, no, no. It's, it's, no, it's, it's an optional value in Swift. So, whenever you see a value which has a question mark beside it, it means this is either, it could have a value or it could be null. Okay? Uh huh. All right. Thank you. Sure, sure. Okay. So, I was talking about the exclamation mark. Exclamation mark, it forces, uh, the value of this. The problem here is, if you open the box and you force unwrap it and there's nothing inside the box, the app will crash. So it will disappear from your screen. Okay? Um, I won't show an example. We're already out of time. So the second way to uh, overcome this and the best way, we, we are a statement. So if let count equal text field dot text dot count. What, what, what this statement does is it checks if there's a count, if we can get a count from this, from this statement. If yes, it assigns this to this uh, variable, to this constant, and it's no longer an option, it's an element. So if this check passes, when I access count from inside the if statement, it's no longer an option. It's a number and I can do everything with it without making a check every to uh, every time I need to access it. We go with this again and count um, greater than four. Else we do another thing. We print success, else we will show a small alert for the going on here. Sorry. By the way, is this in Swift is another way of saying and so if let count, so we found count and the count is greater than four, do this. Else we want to show an alert. To write a function in Swift, it's a keyword or func. And if you press here, it fills it. You have the function name, it's named shape show alert. The parameters we need to pass as a function, we won't. And the return type, it either returns an integer or a boolean or void. But in case of void, we just void it, it means it returns nothing, so we just avoid the whole thing. So show alert, we create an alert. This is a part of uh, UI kit. So controller equal UI alert controller. You give it a title. Uh, sorry, please fill in your name. And we want it to be an alert. Let OK action equal UI alert action. Title, okay, style, default, now we say alert controller, but add, uh, don't worry about this here. Add action, okay, uh, present, so you ask the controller, so if you're familiar with Java, it's usually this, but in Swift it's called self, but in Objective-C we were forced to use it, now we're not forced to use it, so. Basically, this function belongs to the view controller. So we say alert controller. Do we want it to be animated or not? It's a boolean, we say yes. So now, if the count of the characters in the text field is less than four, we call show alert, all right? We run it. I tap continue without adding anything here, and I get the alert. When I tap OK, it goes away. Okay. Okay, I need to ask this question. Do we still have time? Yes, I mean, of course, uh, you can stay up to 5.30 or whatever time you want, as long as, like, okay. you still have left time. Yes, yeah, yeah, I, I have time. No worries. I'm just worried about a lot of people because we said one hour. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, back to this. 
So, um, okay. So, basically, we have a screen. It has a text field, a button, and we just want the user to enter the name. Once they enter the name, we want to take them to another screen. So, let's do this. We open the storyboard again. We have this screen here. Okay. Okay, there are several ways to do this. The classical way is something called Segway. A Segway, if you see this connection between the navigation controller and the view controller, it's a relationship between controller A and controller B. For example, the relationship between the navigation controller and this controller is that this view controller is the root view controller, the first view controller of the navigation controller. We can make other segues. So if I control and pull to this one, and I tap show, so what, what actions can we do? We can show or present. I, I'll show you all the details. Let's start with show. So every time the button is tapped, it will show this controller. Let's try that. Okay, now, when I, hello, it moves to another screen, okay? Let's give the screen another color just to differentiate it from, hello, view, background color, um, bottom, yeah. hello, and we got the, um, so this is what I was talking about about the navigation controller, okay? We have views stacked above each other. So this is the old one still behind. And now if I add another button here, which takes me to another screen, it will get stacked above it. And vice versa. When I tap back, I get to the previous one and the previous one. So, but what we really want, we don't want this action to get triggered whenever we tap the continue button. Why? Because we have a condition in our code that if the user did not enter at least four characters, four characters, we, we will show an error. So let's go and remove that segue from here. Okay. Let's make the segue between this controller and this controller. It's a show. Okay. Good. Now this segue does not depend on any action from this view controller. It's a segue, we can trigger it through code. To trigger it, we tap on the segue, we go to the attributes, and we give it an identifier. Let's call it show photos. Okay? Let's get back to the view controller. Now, so we said on when the tap continue button, on, okay, when the continue button gets tapped, we do a check, and if it succeeds, we want to show the photos controller. Okay. To do this, okay. Um, to do this, there's a function also. So basically, if you open view controller, just to make things easy, you will get access to, as you see here, UI kit to the dot UI view controller. You can see all the functions that you as a developer have access to and can use inside your application. And you can also see the availability. For example, this function can only be used if you're targeting users which are using iOS 13 and above. Um, this function was deprecated, so it would be removed in future releases. It's a long list, as you see, as you see very long list, and with every update, Apple adds, like for example, these are only for iOS 14 and above. You'll see functions or properties which are, are, are only limited to iOS 16 and whatever. So basically, you'll get used to reading the documentation to find out if, if uh, what you're trying to do can be uh, done uh, through the interface of UI view controller, or you can go and you know find out third-party libraries or frameworks which can help you achieve your goals. In general, um, <laughs> let's get back to this. So since we built a segue, um, in the storyboard, we need to perform a segue here. So, what's the name of the segue? Perform a segue. So the identifier 
will be the identifier we added here. And the sender, who did send, or who, who triggered the segue actually? Mainly we say self, and we, when we say self, it's the instance of this controller. Okay? So when I say self dot text field, my text field, my text field as defined as a view controller. Okay? So who sent this function? It's me. Who's presenting this? So we can say self dot present. I'm asking the view controller, please present this alert. Okay? I'll keep the self here just just to understand uh, why it's used. So now what we've done is um, we will perform a segue if the count is greater than two. Good, it worked. If you go back. Now we get the alert. So our logic is working fine. Does anyone have any questions? I mean, am I going too fast? Do you feel it's unorganized? I, I, need, I really would appreciate any feedback, please. Uh, actually, I have a question. Pardon? It's, it's, it's more as uh, the basics of Swift. Pardon? Where, uh, what, the skin time people say continue button every time you don't enter a name. How did you, does, does it run by itself? Like, uh, don't you need a for loop to, to rerun the, uh, the code? As the home will be tapped at a continue button? Uh, Look, basically, it's, it's called an action, okay? So each tap to the button is an action. Tamam? You should need to stop the manual on Mac. So every time the button gets tapped, Everything inside this function will get executed. كل مرة بيكبس البطن حيرجع ينعاد هذا الكود الموجود بقلبه. لو بسته ألف مرة. So you don't need a for loop. لا. You don't need a loop which keeps listening to actions on the button. It's بالعكس. You you as you implement actions here. For example, إذا عندك pull to refresh. نفس الفكرة. لما you pull to refresh. An action gets triggered. When the button has an implementation and function, and when this action gets triggered, I don't know. Do one, two, three. Okay, so no need for any for loop left. Okay. Can you watch it? Yes, yes. Tamam, tamam. Had I had to ask you something? I think someone else has a question. Me? I think Abdul Ghani Shaban in the chat box. He has a question. Let me find the chat box. Okay. Can, can I use VS Code? No. No, no, no. Um, you can see the extension itself with Swift. But you can't access the iKit. 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 So, no, VS Code. I'm sorry. I think on Linux um, systems, you can use Swift to compile Swift. But I'm not going to strings, arrays, dates. In the framework of iOS, we don't have any access to this. Um, sorry. Not my fault. Um, okay, back to here. So, that's my button. I'm going to use GD. So, we're basically done now. Okay? We have a button, we tap it. And in this case, we, do, we, we perform a segue. In the second case, we show the alert. هلا بدنا نروح على الكنترولر الثاني. بيزكلي رح يكون الكنترولر الثاني هو اول شيء بيكون لونه ابيض لانه كثير بشبه هيك. بده يكون عندي تيبل وبهالتيبل في ليست اوف ايمجز which we will fetch from an online server هلا بحكي لكم عنه. بس خلينا اول شيء نبلش هون بالشغل اليو اي اوكي. تو هاف ا ليست بيك بوست بلس اي تايب ان تيبل. أكيد ببدي شكلها هيك، فبنزل لهون بعمل لهم 0 0 0 0، بدي إياها تفل ذا سكرين. توب، ليدنج، ليدنج عم بحكي على الشمال، تريلينج وبوتم. باي ذا واي بس عصيرة الليدنج والتريلينج، كان فينا نقول ليفت ورايت. بس كمان إذا حدا عم يعمل أبلكيشن فيه بقلبها إنجلش وعربي، الليدنج للإنجلش هو الليفت بينما الليدنج للعربي هو الرايت. أندرستاند؟ 
أنا بالإنجليش I'm, I'm, I'm reading from left to right so the leading uh, area of the device هي محل عم بلش قرية بالعربي leading area هي محل عم بلش قرية okay just to not confuse leading يعني left mainly in English خلي الأل قال لي تساعدكم بخوضوا so okay <coughs> I filled uh, the screen with a table so خلينا نشوف إذا هلا فتحنا شو بصير الحمد لله ما صار شيء ما غير التيبل اوكي تلاحظوا اذا بعمل سكرول في شيء عم بتغير ذا ريد سكرول بالاريا بس التيبل بعدها فاضي اوكي طيب هلا وي نيد تو كونكت ذا تيبل تو ذا كلاس اوكي سو نجي لهون على الفيو كنترولر نطلع بالكلاس واتس امتي ما في شيء سو وي نيد تو كرييت ا نيو كلاس اوكي سو ايتش فيو كنترولر از ا فيو بتشوف بالستوري بورد has a class associated to it. So, Nicholas command N, create a new Cocoa Touch class. I can assume it's another framework. It's a subclass of UI view controller. I want to name it Photos View Controller. The language is Swift. Don't let's talk about the zip file. It's another concept. I press create. Now I have a new class. Mainly, I was in Namibia. We make all the things in the world. Hello, Alfie. Hello. Let's open the main. We need to use option main. Let's get some space here. Okay. So we need to go. I was in Namibia. We need to use the controller. We need to use the hot photos view controller. We need to have the lesson. Take the bus on the trial of the various suggestions. Fine, so this view here now knows that photo view controller class will handle all the events or the display of the UI on it. Can I see when I'm going to have a table at home? Let me table view. Okay. This is a table which is fine, but it's not a set. Okay. هلا هون في توبيك شوي بصير شوي ادفانس راح نحاول بسطه قد ما فينا. بيزكلي التيبل فيو شو بيفرق عن اي فيو ثاني؟ التيبل فيو از ريوزبل. سو ليتس امجن انه انا عندي ليست في بقلبها اي دونت نو انا بالمدرسه وعندي ليست في بقلبها كل اسماء الطلاب اللي بالمدرسه سو so عندي 1000 طالب. امجن اذا انا هالتيبل حيكون في بقلبه اكشولي 1000 رو ايتش رو هولدينج and information about one student وهوك انه حيكونوا موجودين in memory وخلي مع كل student كمان في image صغيرة اللي هي كمان صار in memory the app will eventually crash because the device will run out of memory so how does iOS have handled table mainly have one cell هيك اللي انه كله نفس السل سيكون و only the cells that are visible on the screen are actually allocated in memory So when you scroll, the cells that are left on the screen, they get reused. They are reused from the top, they are reused from the top, they are reused from the top. They are updated to information that is left on the screen. The maximum you can have is visible to the screen. If you have five visible cells, and two or three in buffer, eight cells in memory. To repeat, we never take the view. هذا اللي بيفرق فيك انا تحطوا بالفيوز عادي بقلب سكرول فيو ستاك ذم فوق بعض جود لك ما يجي منه التيبل فيو ري يوز ذا سيلز اوكي ايفري تايم ا سيل ديسابيرز فروم سكرين ات بريفيرز تو بي ري يوز وايفري تايم ا سيل ابييرز اون سكرين ات جيتس فيلد ويز ذا انفورميشن اكوردنج تو اتس رو سو ات رو 1 وي جيتس انفورميشن فروم ذس ات رو 2 اتس اتس And the cycle goes on. So we never have a thousand cell in memory. Else, else can't be true performance. Awesome. You can scroll. I can feel the inside. So, here I'm said. What we do now is we add a cell to the table view. So we need a cell. We add a table view cell to collection. So we go here. We insert the cell here. Okay. So, I'll put a little bit. Okay. 
اول شيء بدنا نعمل هذا دائما كنا ما ننتبه له وما نبلش انه السيل نيدز ان ايدنتيفاير السيل نيجي لهون ايدنتيفاير اوكي واي داز ات نيد ان ايدنتيفاير بيكوز يمكن احيانا تستخدم كذا نوع سيل يعني تطلع بالفيسبوك في عندك سيل فيها بس تكست سيل فيها ايمج تكست سيل فيها اي دونت نو فيديو So, we can have the same table, but I have several types of cells. So, the table to differentiate each cell from from another cell, you need to give each cell a unique identifier. You can say what you want. You can say P ones, literally. It's a string just to identify the cell. Let's not say the name of the cell. We can say it's a photo cell. We can say it's a cell. Okay, photo cell. That's it. That's it. So now we have a table view. It has a prototype cell. وهلا نحن عملنا كاستمايزيشن لهالسنة مثل ما بدنا. So let's add a small label بقلب أول شيء. هنحط label هون. نعطيه شوية constraints بس نخلي هيك 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 وهون نزيد. أوكي؟ عندي هذا label هلا هون. أوكي؟ تمام كمان any UI any UI element هيك كل شيء personally not no I'm really enjoying this okay cool same same here okay great 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 حاسس كل شيء كذا anyway تمام لكن هيك كل شيء so each each UI element needs a class to back it up لأنه UI ما فينا نعمل كل شيء We need a class to handle the events mainly, either to populate the data, or if we have a button to help the cell to respond to the actions. So we need to come and we need to class for the cell. That's all. After we do this, we need to have folders. Put something here to see what's going on. We need to use the view controller here. We need to put them here. We need to have a folder that we call application. Oops. We need to put delegates. اللي نحن ما حنحتاجه اليوم. نخلي الستوري بورد هون ما نعرف فيه، اوكي، هلا انا عامل فولدر جديد نسميه سيلز. بس نحكي عن سيل يعني هو رو انسايد تيبل. اوبس مش هون. بنجي معاهم كان بس يو اي تيبل فيو سيل وحنسميها فوتو سيل بلا هيك الحكي كله. فوتو سيل. اوكي. Okay, this is a photo cell. This cell is present here. The first thing we do is we bring in the UI. We go to photo cell. We go to home. We go to cell. Okay. It now knows this view is associated with this class. Okay. Okay. The first thing we do is we bring in the label. خلينا نسمي تايتل ليبل اوكي كول ليتس رون ات ونتاكد انه ما صاير شيء ويتش كوزز ذا اب تو كراش كول بعد ما عملنا كراش طيب اوكي خلصنا ما خلصنا من السيل هلا بس عم نعمل السيت اب عشان نوصل لمحتويات السيل وما في سو بيزكلي صار عندنا تيبل فيو هون اوكي سو تيبل فيو تيتعبى داتا بده شيء نحن نسميه داتا سورس يو نيد ذا تيبل فيو ويل اسك يو هاو ماني روز دو يو هاف اند فور ايتش رو ويتش سيل شود اي بريزنت اوكي خلينا بهو واحد واحد. أول شيء بنعمله بنقول لها للتيبل فيو يور داتا سورس طبعا أول مرة حتحسوها كثير ثقيلة وغريبة وبقيت فترة تعودت عليها بس ليتر اون بتفهم كل الموضوع. يور داتا سورس ويل بي سيلف ويتش از ذا فوتوز فيو كنترولر. يور جيت اول ذا داتا يو نيد فروم فوتوز فيو كنترولر. أوكي؟ بيجي بين الكومبايلر اه يو كانوت اساين فوتوز فيو كنترولر تو تايب يو اي تيبل فيو داتا سورس سو تو ميك ذس هابن بنقول 
Photos view controller inherits from UI view controller and conforms to UI table view data source. Okay. So now photos view controller is a data source. I <coughs> want Table view it needs a data source. Who is my data source? It's self. Self in photos view controller. Okay. So type is only asset. Photos view controller can be a data source because we added this component here. Table view needs a data source. أفضل حل هلا هو اللي يكون photos view controller. هلا بعد عم بعيد الكمبايلر عم يقول okay since you conform to this protocol you need to implement some uh, function mainly protocol or virtual interface to Java. It has some functions and whoever inherits this protocol has to implement these functions. We tap fix. بحط لي هون اول شيء لانه ذكي فبرجع بحطهم تحت بيسكلي في عندي هذه نمبر اوف روز وعندي سيل فور رو اوكي هون عم بيسالني التيبل فيو هاو ماني روز دو يو وونت ان ا سكشن اغنور سكشنز هلا انا عم نمبر اوف سكشنز حكون وان خلينا نبلش بنمبر نحن من راسنا حيكون فايف اوكي تاني شغله عم بيقول لي وات سيل اي نيد ا سيل to display it at an index path. An index path mainly who are about on two dimensional array. I'm not going to have any more. I'm not going to have any more. I'm not going to have any more. The index path has a row. The index path has a section. The section, I'll give you an example of a section, but I'm not going to have a lot of data. I'm not going to have a lot of data. But I'm going to have a lot of data. This first part is a section of two rows. So the number of this section is zero. It's index. The number of rows the album is this one is row zero and this one is row one. So row one and section zero. Row zero and section zero. This is section number one. I'm gonna have zero base number. This is section number one. Section number one. Row the album is zero. So section one row the value at zero. This is section number two with row zero, row one, row two, etc. Now we have our example, we have sections, so we have a section that is zero, so we ignore it. Okay? Okay, the first thing we want to do is we want to create the cell. Okay? So we want to say let cell equal table view dot dq. But if we want to say dq, it's what we want to say about the reusability of the cells. Just give me a moment, there are a message that we want to say. Okay. That's um, not DQing. It's not DQ reusable cell. It will drop a true cell. Ma ba am to stammer. It will get it and fill it with the data. Nah, 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 nah. Our simple identifier. Then I have the photo cell. Have taken the identifier of the cell to be. Oops. Have taken the identifier of the photo cell. We will have photo cell. And since the table view and the item for that function, it passed itself, and it passed the index pass, and I just passed the index pass on. Okay. Now, if we look at the cell, it's a type. Its type is UI table view cell. But our cell is actually a photo cell. So, and I'm using casting this way. You can cast like this, either photo cell. You know, my name is my question mark. So. It tries to convert this cell to a photo cell. If it succeeds, you'll get a photo cell here. Else, you'll get nil. So my rule is, the hal halat I force on that. As I'm not sure, you know, I'm just a cell with an identifier, photo cell, is of this type. There's a big problem. I have to solve it. Let the app crash. And I'm on development. I see my time will. Uh, stupid behavior while with uh, users. Okay, how now we return the set? Let's try it. So, can I pass? Table view needs information about the data it would display, which is called the data source. A table view needs a data source. 
we made Photos View Controller a data source. And to be a data source, you have to implement these two functions, at least. That's all these are requirements. How many rows do you want in each section? Only one section, so we ignore the section parameter here. I'm telling it, I need five. Then it asks me for each index path, يعني at zero, zero, which cell do you want? At zero, one, which cell do you want? And I will kill the rows the same cell because mainly had a task. I'm returning the cell. So let's see what happens. Cool. Now we see the cells. We can look at two few label, 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 label. هات نظبط كم شغلة فيه. أول شيء ما بدي هيدا الشيء يكون static type. فلت أم let's create an array. Let items. Okay. هات كون of type string. Equal. This is how we declare an array in Swift. By the way. So في عن يا هيك بتحط equal بتعبي فيها items اللي بدك إياه. أو let items بتكون equal array. String, uh, whatever. Uh, simplest ways in the only four. Hi. You can also just start like this. But if you to give it a type, so these are items. So let's hop to the iOS, iPadOS, um, macOS, tvOS. Microsoft. Yes. Okay. So, uh, we want to display these the the cell. Mish label, label, label. We want to display them. As cell, hala makufi label. Kill the cells. They turn out all action. Our shoe, we need to make this dynamic. Then I know how one. Two, three, four, five, six items in the cell. But the items, sorry. But I'm in the five. Hello, if I run it, if I were to run it, hello, I don't have the five cells with Unix behind it. I will check below. Return items dot count. Sounds good. So to know how many items to to show in the table, it goes counts the items in the array. And returns it to the table. Hey, I want to get help. Then I want to fill the cell with the names inside this array. So, I have a photo cell. What do I have in the photo cell? I have a text label, title label. Then I have a function of name, you know, set title, title string, or title label, dot text. Equal the title. نرجع على فوتوس يو كنترولر. let title equal items at أي index zero one two I don't know but نيجي بعدين نعمل كده نرجع نقول index path dot row. okay so I have the title which is a string so I access I access the array at index zero I get iOS. At index one, I get iPad OS. Keep back the indexes, then item number of items. The table view now knows since it has six items. The first index packs dot row will be zero. The last one will be five. Then the last one is zero. Let's have a little cell dot set title. The bad luck part. Let's try it now.
Okay, we, we we can see whatever we fill to the array. Okay. حتى هلا إذا رحنا لهون جينا زدنا آيفون أبوز وماجيك ماوس بنروح على هنشوفهم كلهم سو صرنا دايناميك So now, if we want to get data from the server, which we never know what is the data, the table view will solve the problem. We get an array, we return the number of items count to inform the table how many rows to display. Based on that, we are safe that we are always accessing the correct index of the array. Because if the number here is a problem, you will never see it. I could access an array out of bounds; the app would crash immediately. بتصير بس بيكون احيانا مشكلة من ديفلوبر ايرور بيكون حدا يو ديدنت ابديت ذا اري في مطرح يو ابديت ذا اري مطرح ثاني يو ديدنت ذا تيبل اكسسنج ذا رون اري ات وود كراش بس حدا يمنع التغيير يتصلب في ارض اوكي كول هلا اللي بدنا نعمله نحن انه بدنا بدنا هي ستاتيك ديتا بدنا نروح نجيب ديتا من سيرفر سو بيزيكلي هذا السيرفر اسمه بيكسل اي اوكي تعمل كواري عليه وتعطيك صور so, خلينا بس مين uh, حطينا الباك بوند تبع بدنا نعمل الريكوست على الباك اند حتى نجيب الايمجز سو جاست ا مومنت اني حطيتها بالبروجكت يعني اوكي سو فيرست بدنا كول ا يو ار ال When when we get the images, but basically, as we are doing to the back, we are doing a pixel by doing registration. We get a secret key. How to do that? It's for free, but we are not doing it because we are not doing it for a few hours. We are doing it for a few hours. So I try to do it as fast as possible. Okay. So when we go home, we get a API client. هو يحكي مع الـ API ويجيب لنا هلا أنا عم بحكي بشرح لكم بالضبط شو الفكرة شو الـ API شو السيرفر وكيف عم نجيب داتا هاو تو ديسبلاي إن سويفت هاو تو أكسس إت أوكي سو خلينا نسمي هذا API كلاينت فاونديشن باي ذا واي إز ستاندرد لايبرري يعني كل حتشوفوا فيها كثير قصص يعني طولي لدرجة إنه ما في 30 سطر 30 ألف سطر وهي بس الانترفيس مش الامبلمنتيشن سو يو كانت نو وات انسايد ايتش فانكشن جود لك سو بنرجع للاي بي اي كلاينت بنعمل هون كلاس بنسميه اي بي اي كلاينت وبنحط بقلبه وان فانكشن هنحطها ستاتيك هلا لانه ما بده كثير فانكشن اسمها فاتش ايمجز اوكي هلا عشان بنحط لنا ريتيرن لانه بعد ما عندنا ريتيرن كمان عطوني بس دقيقة مضطر جي والله ما طلعت هيك شو عم بيصير خلص سو هذا اليو ار ال اوكي بيزكلي كيف بيشتغل هذا الويب سايت تبعث له كي وورد وهو بيرد لك الايمجز على اساس هذا عم بلش برابط نحن اوكي طيب هلا نحن بنعيط له اللي بدنا اياه اني واي سو فيرست يو هاف تو بيلد ذا يو ار ال اوكي سو اليو ار ال حيكون على الشكل التالي ذات URL أو شيء بكون ستريم هو base URL plus سيرفونا Q equal هلا بشرح لكم اياهم هون شو search text الحقيقة هذا يبين هيك يعني بس بس تعملوا له print بعد شوي حيبين هيك الستريم 
مثل اي ويب كويري كيو ايكوال تو ديرابت اوكي هذا بس بعد السترينج ما تحول لي ورا كمان بدنا نزيد عليه كمان بعد شغله الكي معك كي ايكوالز ام الكي باي ذا واي الباك سلاش مع الاوبجكت اللي بقلبه از كولد سترينج انتربوليشن سو مين يعني اذا عندي ذات مين ايكوال حسان وبدي اعمل اوكي ولت كونجراتس مسج ايكوال كونجراتس بس ما بعرف اذا الاسم حسان ولا مش حسان يعني يمكن لكل يوزر يكون شيء سو so, بعمل باك سلاش ويتش از ان اسكيب كاركتر اي اوبن تو بارانتيسز بحط نيم So it's part of the string now. If I'm gonna print, I'll put congrats as in. So we use it a lot in these cases. We can change the URL here, or we can change the search text for the first time. I just pass it here as part of the string. It can be done in other ways. We can change the hot pluses. Q is a hot plus plus plus. But heck, as in. فهي اول اول شغله طلع من اليو ار ال سترينج، سكندلي وي هاف تو ميك ات ان يو ار ال في تايب في اي او اس اسمه يو ار ال اوكي سو اي ام كريتنج ان يو ار ال اي ام انيشالايزنج ات وذ سترينج سو ببعث له سترينج ات ترايز تو كونفرت ات ار يو ار ال بس ات ريتيرن ان اوبشن اوكي ات كود فيل يعني انا هون اذا بحط هون 1 2 3 5 ات ويل نيفر بي ا يو ار ال ات ويل فيل سو اللي ححطه انا اللي هو يو ار ال سترينج اوكي سو اول شيء خلقنا السترينج ثاني شيء خلقنا اليو ار ال بعدين بنفع شيء اسمه يو ار ال ريكوست اليو ار ال ريكوست ايكوال يو ار ال ريكوست بياخذ يو ار ال بياخذ اليو ار ال بنعمل يو ار ال ريكوست دوت ميثود اكيد انتم فاميليار مع منكم اكيد اللي شاغل شويه ويب بيكون فاميليار مع بوست وجت و بي اتش بي اللي عم يشتغلوا او ويب او شيء. اني واي ذس از ا تايب جت ميل ايه؟ اول جست سينج يس لايك وير فاميليار صح ايه اكزاكتلي سو اوكي واتس وور هير Okay, so I prepared everything here. Amen. Hala bade amul an actual call. So the iOS has a certain URL session. Bas al shared lan li biarat al singleton. It's a shared instance. You can access it from anywhere. Al bool data path. Fi anna completion handle. Fi anna think away. Ya khalina bi completion handle. Okay. And the data task. So I need. I'm I'm asking URL session to start the data task. I pass the URL request. The URL request is copied by the copy by the URL with HTTP method. A URL request. And this is for completion handler. The who we closure be be other languages. The who we blocks the other languages. The who we should we say more privately? Callbacks. So basically, we see here, Anna, a URL session. Starts this task asynchronously. So, it, whenever it finishes, it will call whatever is in this block. Okay? So, hala, how can I design error in Apple and we have API tier admin? If you see, if you have data, okay, I'm sorry, data, which is optional, URL response, which is optional, and an optional error. So we have three cases of three variables which are either a value or an optional. So we have two power three, eight combinations, which is a disaster. And you can get back all of them. What should I do? You can get back three different values. And if you have data or response or error, what should I do? It would never happen. But design-wise, then if I'm wrong, you get confused. What's happening? So. Anyway, data is of type data, any bytes. You are a response element to full. If we have an error, is of type error in case we have an error. Okay, so, oops. 
من اللي حطهم شيء اسمه ريزيوم ات ويل نيفر على انا كثير من سياده ريزيوم هون وبعمل بعيط لكولز على يو ار الز وبضل قاعد خمس دقائق ناطر بكون ناسي احط ريزيوم هون ويت از كمان ستوبد ليت مي تشيك اذا ناسي شيء بس هوبفولي لا اوكي هلا بيسكلي نحن لما نعيط لفاتش ايمجز هلا هذا الكونسبت حيصير شوي سريع ف خليني حل بطريقة لأنه بديش فوت بالكلوجرز الصراحة I'm sorry Try catch, right? Um, yes, yes. It's a try. Okay, so I'm applying a wait. A try is for if we catch if we catch an error, this function will throw it. Oops, sorry, I put the wrong Let result try. And a wait means can I just was introduced newly to Swift. The execution of this function will stop here until this line stops. Although the code which is executed here is asynchronous. I don't know if we closures or can't explain it at the end. Even I'm not going to learn that here. To be a sabir, I'm not going to get the closures. I'm not going to get the closures. I'm not going to get the closures. What I'm trying to do here, I prepare the URL request. I call URL session and ask for data. From this request, it will either so it will return a tuple, يعني كان نعم تترين two two stuff, okay? I will put throw an error, and I handle both cases, okay? So, um, okay. في شغلة دي بس لازم نتحدث عن أدر كل شيء اللي هي الجيسون, okay? بس ER. مرأة عليها هو ال Solving JavaScript the JavaScript object mutation I guess شيء the JSON مرأة عليها أنا عم بدرس ال JavaScript but I didn't really understand it okay تمام يلا الله الله ما في مثال نفهم كيف هو okay it's the best example تمام هلا نحن حنعمل نفس نفس الريكوست مثل هيدا اللي هون بيزكلي حطينا كي وكيو واتسترا اتسترا اتسترا بس بيهمنا الريزالت هلا هون سو بيزكلي هيدا ريسبونس بيرجع بفورمات اسمه جيسون لوك ات ات از ادكشنري كي فاليو تايب سو فور ذا كي توتال ذا فاليو از 4 6 9 2 For the key total hits, it's 500. For the key hits, the value menu number of string, it's actually an array of other objects. So, the elb hits, I have an array of objects, and each object, little hider, has the following fields: it has an ID, the URL of the page, the type, tags, etc., etc., etc. What we have to do now is to transform this into Swift. 
اوكي هلا بكم كيف الموضوع بيصير اوكي هنخلي هاي حدنا نشوف اذا بنقدر نخليها حدنا نحن عم نشتغل بس نضل شايفينا بس وقف بايز وقف فيك تحط قد ما بدك كلاسز وستراكس بالسيم فايل عملنا هلا بالسيم فايل بس لما نضيع شوي اوكي سو بيزكلي بس نطلع هون نحن بدنا نبلش نعمل موديلينج من شوي حكينا على الام بي سي الموديل ذس از اكشوال موديل فيرست حنبلش بشي اسمه ستراكس اوكي ما هلا حنحكي عنه ابدا اتس ديفرنت فروم كلاس بس اتس سيميلر ان فانكشناليتي كل شيء حتى يطلع صوص في كمان بالكلاس في كمان على الستراكت بلس الستراكت از مور لايت ويت على الميموري سو ات هاز اذر بينفيت بس هوليك الموضوع الانترفيو كويستشن صار ومش وقت ما نعمل سو بيزكلي انا عم بطلع هون على شمال عندي جيسون سو عنده ريسبونس سو ليتس كول ات بيكسابي ريسبونس اوكي بنفتح ونسكر اوكي سو هذا الريسبونس في عنده 3 فيلدز انيشيالي عنده توتال وتوتال هيتس وهيتس خلينا نبلش بالتوتال To define it, I start with the let because I'm had data I'm given in back in the survey. I don't want it to get changed. Not put the variable, put the let. Okay. Semi total, exactly as it's named here. Okay. And all the type of our integer. Okay. The total hits I'll ignore it. Not need to tell you. Has let hits. Okay. Hits is an array of something. We don't know what it is. Let's go to the alpha hit, which is this. Okay. Let's call this hit. Actually, we call it what we call it. Struct x a b hit. Okay. So here we have an array of x a b hits. Monty. Yes. Yes. Okay. How do we establish let id of type integer? Let page URL. Or actually, let's take a look at the formula we have. Let's see what we have. We have an image URL. Okay. It's of type string. Let's finish this. Okay. Hello. The only thing you have to do now. To make this uh, readable by Swift is to add code. That's it. Okay. So now, we see here, the hundred. From here, we see an array of pixabay hits. Okay. تنرجع على ال URL request. We requested آخر شيء حيرجع لنا هون data. اللي هني bytes. So our mission now is to conform this bytes to a pixabay hit. نقول let data equal result result of data. That is zero. He tuple. بما إنه بس ليش zero? It's a tuple mainly. في تحط في قلبها قبل ما بدها اوبش ايتمز بيصير لهم نمبر 0 1 2 3 اتس نوت ان اري اتس ا سبيشال تايب اوف سويت كمان اي وونت دايف ديبر دايف ديبر سو عندي هون الداتا تمام هلا اي وونت تو انكود ذس داتا ديكود سوري ذس داتا تو ان اكشوال ستراكت ان سويت سو ولت جيسون ديكودر ايكوال جيسون ديكودر برجع بقول لت ديكودر Equal. Jason, oops, try. Jason decoder dot decode. What do we want to decode? This type. So, pixabay response from this data. I know I just saw it, but I didn't read it all. So, you are mainly. I'm just amul. Okay. 
انا بس اعمل اني ريكوست تو اني اند بوينت حيرجع لي بالنسبه للي عم يعمل الريكوست بايتس اوف داتا ممكن يكونوا ايمج ممكن يكونوا سترينج ممكن يكونوا اكس ام ال ممكن يكونوا اتش تي ام ال ان ذس كيس وي ار شور انه اتس جيسون تمام سو افتر اي فاتش ذا داتا اذا ما زبطت باي ذا واي ات ويل ثرو ان ايرور اوكي سو يو اوف كل الشغل اللي بعده بينتهي اي جيت ذا داتا فروم ذا ريزولت ذا ريزولت از ا تابل في بقلب الداتا او يو ار ال ريسبونس ام اجنورينج يو ار ال ريسبونس ناو صار عندي الداتا ناو هيد داتا ات ليست تو بي دي كودد تو ان اكشوال تايب اوكي سو هون عمول انا ليت بليز مستر دي كودر تراي تو دي كود this type from this data that I just fetched. If everything goes okay and this guy doesn't throw any errors, I'll get my decoded response and I return the hits. Okay? في حدا في شيء مش فاهم وفي شيء صعب في شيء أكيد مش سهلين ما إنه straight forward. بس إذا حبيت أطلع الموضوع ليتر حتلاقوه إنه كم بصير عن جد تعملوه وانتم ما تطلعوا من الشاشه. سو so, حدا عنده شي سؤال؟ حدا في شي زاجه؟ حدا بده يبيع الايفون اللي عنده؟ لا هلا تمام. اوكي جود. تمام هلا بنرجع للفوتوس فيو كنترول اوكي؟ سو هلا نحن وي وونت لما لما هاي ستريم تبين بدي جيب الايمجز فلزم من الاري and ask the table to show them. So let's delete all this. And let's delete all this. And this. Okay, let's show them. Our team is an array which holds these images whenever they get back. So, var, samia hits. Of type, it's a bay hit. It's empty. Okay, syntax. So declaring it private, it's a habit. It's good to, to declare everything private. But since we don't want private, it's a variable because every time we fetch photos, we want to uh, add the photo to this array. It's an array which holds item of type pixabay head, and it's empty initially. Hala, but now fetch photos. Oops. But now, when the new loads, we want to call fetch photos. Come on. To fetch photos, خلقنا هونيك API client صح؟ نعمل instance من مهم. من هو ال API client? Let photos. Oh, actually, it's shank. Sorry. لأنه هونيك نحن استعملنا async await اللي هي أسهل من يوم مرة من closing فتحمل مين. I have to open a task here. Okay. بقول let او do من شوي حدا قال do catch this is do catch exactly okay I try await no sorry let photos equal try await api client dot fetch images خلينا نحط هون rabbit نرجع نقول self dot hit Equal photos. So I'm assigning a result on the array on. So I'm going to add hits dot count. Humble cell. Humble let title equal hits index pass dot row dot. We have an ID image URL. Can you put the image URL? When all cell dot set title title. The whole clue came in. Okay, what's happening? I don't know. It's hot funk. Okay, set of photos equal photos. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little bit of what's going on. Mainly, I'm 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 calling await. So, we have basically two pools of thread. We 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 have two pools. We have the main thread. The main thread is where everything related to UI is happening. 
and you can never update or change anything in the UI from outside the main thread or the app will crash. I guess you can, you, you can make on the background thread, like hit, مثلا, when you fetch your images, if you do it on a main thread, you will block the user. ما بقى الاب تتحرك لا يخلص. So, عملنا لهم بشي اسمه async await. So, what we do when we نفتح task home, we're telling the OS, like move to another thread, with the OS will be not a thread. Fetch the photos, assign the photos to, 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 to the variable here called hits. Then move back to the main actor, which is the main thread, and ask the table view to reload its data. Again, a task asks the operating system to perform work on a background thread, not the main thread. We do the work, which is fetching the images. We assign the fetched images to a local property. When it finishes, we Ask the operating system or iOS, please perform this on the main actor, i.e. the main thread. All right? On catch, we will find an error. We will just print the error. Okay? So, um, let's try it. Well, obviously, I am in another. Okay. Hello, good night, dear. I'm sure you got طيب طبعا عمل ديبانجي معكم لانه ما كنت بتخيل نوصل لهون اوكي مضبوط Basically, all breakpoints, by the way. Um, the code will break. Okay, it's not a very break. Okay, 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 good. This is a good example. Let's uh, start. When the response is hello. So, I'm going to make the hit. I assume in the image you are this thing, and it's always there. شلون بقول لك الارقام؟ بقول نو فاليو اسوشيتد وذ ذا تي ايمج يو ار ال اتس فاليو از نيل. سو اي ميك ذس اوبشن. بنشوف هلا شو بصير. تخرب الارقام. اوكي هون طلعت لي صار اوبشن اوكي فهعمل هيك هي معناتها in case title is null use this اه كول طلعوا كلهم ما عندهم من الجواب بس اسيس على بين السن خلينا نحط هون لك ناخذها من هون في عندنا اليوزر بسال بلا ما نعبي image URL نعبي user اوكي هون هي ماشي العادي اوكي اوكي 
Okay, في progress في progress it's not good. So very uh, new user made. بعد في عنا بس نعبي الامج هون وتخليكم تروحوا تفتحوا. Um, so اوكي اول شيء اكيد حدا عنده سؤال ولا ما حدا عنده سؤال انا اذا معكم اسئله عم بعمل شيء غلط انا بس سؤال شو ضروري ضروري يستخدم جيسون ولا في لايك اتش تي ام ال سي اس اس بوست تراب لا لا يعني في لها 90 بي اف 90 بي بس خليه راحت على جيسون اكس ام ال كثير كان صعب نعمله فاست ريتو صعب يوصيك جيسون از موست ريدبل واذا لاحظت يعني يعني وان هو ريسبونس تو تو انك تقدر تقلب هذا الشيء لكود توك مي فايف لاينز او ديبندز يعني حيكونوا 10 لاينز والاسهل من انه فيك تعمل لك كلها كوبي لهي في عندنا هون جيسون نسيت اسمه في 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 ويب سايت بتحط الجيسون برد لك الاستراكت هذا ست سيكندز عندي هذا الاب اوبس It's like convertible. It's very easy. It's very easy. This. Let's just look at them here. Yep, here it is. Okay. Um. Chaiko, you yes. paste the JSON. Okay. Yeah, I'll put the example on the hollow. You paste the JSON. واعطاك الستراكت خالص ما في داعي تعمل شيء اوكي؟ سو يو دونت هاف تو وري اباوت ذس ليتر اون بتصير اكسبرت فيه له اوكي اوكي بس انه بيزكلي كل الفريم ووركس في العالم بيتعاطوا جيسون لانه اتس ذا نورم ذيس دايز انا ما بعرف شو بعدين بيطلعوا قصص جديده اوكي في عندنا بعض الايمج خلينا نلاقي طريقه نطلع الايمج ونطلع لكم على بيتكم اليوم Okay, um, so basically, one website can. Huh? Huh? No. 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 Me? Oh. Okay, it's okay. So, can you not put the answer to the Surah Fatin and Hot? Which one? Which one? Which one? Nobody really gives one. Large image URL or control not? Let's try large image URL. بدنا نزيدها هي على على الستراكت اللي عندنا على الموبايل سو نيجي لهون نحط ليفت ارج ار تي ار ال اكزاكتلي ذا سيم اوكي بختار خلي اوبشن لانه ممكن ما يكون عندنا ماشي هلا بنروح على السيل هلا بدل ما نسميها سيت تايتل بنحط سيت فوتو وبنسمي فوتو بيكس اباي هيت اوكي تايتل ليبل دوت تكست ايكوال فوتو دوت يوزر هلا ما عندنا ايمج هون فموضوع على الستوري بورد نيجي على هالسل اللي هون من ندرس على البلس من في شيء اسمه ايمج فيو نحطه هون تخرب الدنيا لانه صار مرات ال شوي نحطه هون شوي تمام هذا بنعطيه اول شيء من هون طيب سبيسينج نعطي هيك سبيسينج نعطي لتحت ما كثير نحن نعطي بتعطيه كمان كونستنت هايت وكونستنت ويت لانه سن ايمج وما حيقدر يعمل ريسايزنج الا ما انت تحدد له الاكزاكت هايت والويت اوكي صار عندنا ايمج فيو هون سو بنحط فيها نعمل لها كمان اوتلت فوتو ايمج فيو اوكي هلا هون في عندنا كذا ابروتش تو فيتش ذا ايمج فينا بالاي بي اي كلاينت وفينا هون هلا انا حاعمل الطريقه السهله جدا وتشيز ما بحياتكم تعملوها لانه والله انا وقت 
بس بالحقيقه يو دونت دو ذيس اول شيء بتعملوا بالسيل باي ذا واي في فانكشن بالسيل ايت سيل اتس بريبير فور ذا يوز هذه بس نحن قلنا بالريوزبل بالسيل ريوزبلتي لما عم نعمل ريوز للسيل ممكن يكون بعث بقلبها اولد داتا تايتل اولد ايمج من السيل من اللي كان عم يستخدمها Just to make sure that we get a fresh copy of the of the cell, then we will also make it a super. We will make photo image view dot image equal to null. Here we made sure we clear the image, the previous image. Then if we do such a thing, we can scroll up very fast. We can see 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 images, many part of duplicate images. Image does not belong to this cell, etc. How many all if let Data equal data um, content. Okay, I watch. So, we are now home. We are let the URL. We are the URL. Of course, we are going to go here. I'm going to be a lot. So, we have a large image URL. Okay, it's an optional string. So, first of all, we have to make sure that we have a string that we want. We will if let URL string equal photo dot large image URL. So I was going to take a look at the URL module. Then is it really a URL? So how to convert it to URL? Then, or better than, then all let the data of this URL is of type data. Contents of of URL إذا هذا كله موجود بقول أنا let image خلينا نوصلكم إياها شوي لتبين أوضاع so if the URL string is not null and if that URL string is actually a URL and if data was able to load data from this URL let the image equal UI image and initialize it with the data of the URL نرجع نقول save to self save to save سالب دوت فوتو ايمج يو ايكوال ايش مشكله هي الفانكشن اللي بلوكس ذا مين ثريد حتلاقوا هلا الاب عم تعلق كثير اوكي بس عشان الوقت لتخلص خلينا نخلصها هيك اليوم ليتر اون اذا عملنا شيء ثاني بنرجع نعمل شيء اكبر بنكون محضرينه اكثر ما كنت حاسس بس بس ساعتين ونص صراحه Hello. Any image? Ah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. So, I'm going to give the title of the heads. Hala, I'm going to give each head at a specific index. Okay. I'm sending the photo directly to. to the cell. I shift the images, but the message that you have is that synchronous URL loading of blah 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 should not occur. Occur on this application's main thread as it may lead to UI unresponsiveness. Please switch to an asynchronous networking API such as, such as your live session. Eventually, can upload in Amala ala ala ashi asynchronous and asynchronous. But I'm close to some hard to show up. I'm done. Okay, but at least we achieved our goal. Kina ba'an bumper tiri shafin rayta bas min kabas sal tehda ghamat lahtani. بس انا قلت صرنا 40 ساعه ونص من الوقت سو حاترك هالكم او اكشلي خليني اعمل ريكاب سريع بنرجع بنروح للاسئله والاجوبه واذا حدا حابب يكفي بهذا العالم كيف في ساعته سو ليت ستارت اجين فروم زيرو اكس كود رتبنا الامور هون في عندنا الاب ديليجيت والسين ديليجيت مينلي زي هاندل ذا لايف سايكل اوف ذا هول اب افيو كنترولر هاندل ذا لايف سايكل اوف افيو اوكي And we have storyboards, which help us do the UI, the flow, the app. 
most or almost all big companies start using storyboards انه بس يكبروا كثير بيعملوا مشاكل بس يشتغلوا تيمز عليهم بيعملوا مشاكل احيانا اللابتوب بيكونوا محله قبل ما اروح اشتغل لانه اللودنج it takes too much time to load them but it's still a good option for anyone who wants to start doing iOS development um, every view you see here has a view controller which handles the view and the model the view either presents something for you or handles your interactions a swipe, a double tap, a tap, etc. Um, then we learned about uh, not learned about يعني a small time introduction about outlets, about actions, uh, how we can use them, showing an alert, mainly had a code later on, if the people in Kafka be able to unlike Then we, we, we implemented a small table which shows straight rabbits. And I'm very sorry. I'm sorry, Jason. Come on. I'm done from my side. Um, but you're back in Sigara? It's not literal. Serious stuff. I had a nice one. I had a. 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 I had You know, I've been coding for like five hours and you just messed up my head. How did I do it? What keeps that up? What keeps you shooting it? I was uh, learning Solidity. Uh, and uh, there, there's a big difference between writing the functions in Swift and Solidity. Like. <laughs> لك اول شيء سويفت عليها طلب العالم، كل شيء موضوع عليه طلب العالم، مع هلا مع مع كل قد ما شفت صبي اللي صار بالعالم. بلبنان انا كل يومين في حدا بيحكي لي لينكد ان، ار يو انترستد ار يو انترستد؟ بيزكلي انا ما بنترستد لانه محمد انا بشتغل شركه كثير مميزه، اكيد على صعيد ما عم بعمل دعايه بس انه اتس جود ويرك بيس. So هون الموضوع بيرجع على في كان كبرسون، في عالم بتفضل تشتغل بس باك اند لانه ما في يو اي، ما بيحبوا اليو اي. دي كان يوز فون بوتن، بيقول لك انا بشتغل باك اند بين اللوجيك والجيم تبع الاب، بفضل اشتغل بالستورج، بالداتا بيز، ب ات ديبندز، ما هذا مش بيرسونال بريفرنس، يعني انا لو بلشت الخبريه كلها كنت بعمل هيك شاب ومبسوط بحالي وكثير هيك مولع بمنتجات ابل والايفون والقصص اللي بيعملوها، بتعرف انه اي ونت دو انا ايفون اب، وبعدين صار صار عندي كل الديفايسز يعني عم بتكلفني اكثر ما عم تطلع لي مصاري بس <laughs> uh, actually, lately I was trying to find an entry-level job. Um, it's it's too late, I know. Uh, I had like up to five languages programming, but no self-confidence. But, but <laughs> like, the idea is that there is a portfolio. Yes, ma'am. في بورتفوليو يعني في شيء شيء عام انت شاغل عليه لو انه كلون يو براود اوف ام براود اوف ما بات يا اي ورك اون سم بروجيكتس اوكي موستلي ار اتش تي ام ال سي اس اس اند جافا سكريبت جود ان شاء الله تراي تو ريبليكيت اني ويب سايت حاول اعمل شيء نفس الكلون تعلم فيه لانه يو هاف تو جيت يور هاندز ديرتي I want you to gain more confidence. You get access to more interviews, and the more interviews you get, the more you learn. And the best time interviews. The last thing that you have to interview, the first two, three, four, five interviews, you have to solve the problem in your life. As you come back to you review the questions, you learn more about them. Eventually, you grow and grow and grow. But try to work on something that you want to do. This project that you are going to solve, you will not be able to do it. After a few days, you will be able to do it. It helps a lot. And eventually, if you play internship, it's hard to do. But you follow me on the app, and with your time, do your research. Sorry, I'm lucky. That's okay. It was so stressful, I know. I had a number of questions. Feedback. Did you have people tell me about the next time I'm at Ibu? 
نيكست تايم ما بقى تفكر تعيد هيك شيء ليترلي عن جد اي شيء بيفتح على طول سيريسلي اي لاف تو جيف فيدباك تفضل مرحبا الاول يعطيك العافيه لا هو بس بدي اخذ رايك بشغله أه تفضل للاسف ما بكره ابل كثير وكانوا بالبرودكت تبعولها بعدين لحد هلا بس كديفلوبر يعني هل بتنصح نجرب نفوت فيها طالما انه ما بحب كل شيء لابل وانه ما عندي ما بحب ايفون لاقدر اجرب اوكي اوكي هلا مينلي يو دونت نيد ان ايفون الا اذا عم تشتغل بروجيكتس كبير وضخمه ساعتها بتكون عم تشتغل بشركه وهن بيعطوك الديفايس. موست اوف ذا ستاف كان بي تيستد اون اون ا سيميليتر اكثر من 90% هلا يو دونت لاف ابل بفهمك دو يو نيد ا ماك بوك يس بس في كثير شيء لو بادجت في الماك ميني اللي هو ليترلي هالاب بتحط له سكرين وكيبورد وماوس ويو جيت جوين يعني اي ثينك 600 دولار 700 دولار جديد ممكن تلاقي يوزد ارخص من هيك كثير فمنه هالكسره اذا بس فور ديفلوبمنت يعني مش مش كرافيك ديزاين اي بيرسونلي لاف ات يعني جربت اندرويد ستوديو ما كثير نو اوفنس بس ما كثير الموضوع عجبني يعني ف طبعا زي هاف ذا فلوز ابل بس ممكن نجرب يعني ولا يعني اكشلي اكشلي ايه اكشلي فيك تجرب حتى فيك تجرب اندرويد اللي هيك كوتلن اذا بتشوف كوتلن كسنتاكس كلانجوج كفيتشرز يس اتس فيري سيميلر تو سويفت كثير سيميلر كثير سيميلر كثير سيميلر ف اتس اب تو يو يعني اذا اذا بتلاقي حالك ايه اتس نايس انه تبلش تتعلم اول شيء ستارت از لانجوج لانه انا اول ما غلطت بلشت بتعلم اي او اس حتى الحيطان يو نيد تو لان ذا لانجوج فيرست تعلم منها كثير كونسبت انه على بالكمبيوتر ساينس ثريدنج طب عيد جربت لي ثريد والموت ثريد جربتهم بالجافا رجعت جربت الابت نيتف وعملت بروجكت بالابت نيتف موبايل ابلكيشن بس ما جربتوش حاليا كثير بعيد عنها بس انه مثل عم فكر شوي بس كتجربه عم نسمع اكيد بالنسبه لي انا لانه انا لي 10 سنين بحكي هيك رح يكون رايي بايس شوي يعني اي لاف ات حلو لك الجانب الايجابي الاحلى من يمكن احسن على الويب متفقين معه انه خصوصا انه يعني الموبايل اب اكثر الويب انا بكون نحن كثير قراب من بعض بس مين اللي عم يشتغل باك اند ما بيلمس نتائج شغله غير ما الموبايل اب او الفرونت اند بيخلص وتطلع برودكشن ونعمل تيستينج اتسترا أنا ما ليترلي هون تيك توك شغلي يو ران ات يو تيست ات يو فيل ات نفس الشيء الويب هلا بصير الريليشن شيب مع التليفون اكثر لانه وي ار سو اتاش تو اور ديفايسز فالفيلينج بيكون شوي غير يور ديفايس غير ما يكون في قدامك يور سكرين عم تشوف ويب سايت عليه بس انه بالنهايه كله شغل ات ديبندز انت بيزكلي اف يو بروجرام ويب حتقدر تو بروجرام اني اذر لانجويج كان سويفت Kotlin, iOS, Android, Python, I don't know what. It's just about you. In fact, you can see vertical. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing currently. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing currently. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing currently. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing currently. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing currently. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing currently. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing currently. I'm going to tell you في مطار عم يندفع اكثر ديبندز اون ذا تكنولوجيز يو على الشيء اللي بيندفع بيندفع فيه بيندفع فيه حبيبي ولا Does anyone have any more questions? عم بيحكي معنا من مارس من المريكي نور اي ثينك سمثينغ از رونغ وذ يور يا نور اي ثينك ذير سمثينغ رونغ وذ يور مايك اور سمثينغ ااا اف يو دونت ونت تو يوز يور مايك يو كان جاست دروب ات ان ذا تشات بوكس اف يو ونت Thank you. Sure. Always welcome. 
Oh, I think you have my, my LinkedIn profile. I'm very happy to help you with resources, help, how to start. Um, but do not order from Starbucks. Um, I'm really, I would be happy, Andrew. Um, just talk to me. Um, just, just one more thing. Before I go. Sure, uh, sure. I need your personal feedback about blockchain development. Um, I have absolutely no idea about it. Then, okay. Zero. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, no, no, I don't know about it. Okay. I mainly, I don't know, 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 I don't know. وبنايمه كم سنة حتى شوف إذا عن جد هو الشيء حيمشي ولا لا، لأنه في كثير تكنولوجيز طلعت وعلى أساس حتاكل الدنيا و و بس مثل قصة ال 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 النون نيتف أبس، كل ما تطلع تكنولوجي إنه خلص النيتف أب ديفلوبمنت حتموت، سويفت ويل داي، كوتلين ويل داي، إيفنشولي زي ديفيرت باك أند زي أول جو باك تو نيتف، سو في كثير تكنولوجيز أول ما تطلع هلا الـ AI تبع الـ chat جي تي بي ما ما رسمها ممكن لما الهايب هيك شوي تخاف فانا مشي حاله عن جد يعني في منه شيء حنستفيد منه ولا مثل ما بدك تقول سيرش انجن ويل سي اتس لايك ام جست سيرشينج فور ا هايلي ديماند جوب ذاتس واي ام لوكينج فور ذا سالري نوت ذا هلا اي انستاند كلنا هاي موبايل موبايل ديفلوبمنت في سالري داتا ساينس في سالري ماشين ليرنينج في هلا ما بعرف لبنان قد ايش بس ايفنشولي العالم كلها بس بس تبلش عن جد ثوره الماشين ليرنينج والاي اي العالم كلها حتلاقيها عم تنط بالاي اي والداتا ساينس ويتش از ا بيج وورد وانا يعني عامل كذا ورك شوب حاضر يعني كذا ورك شوب ايت لوتس اوف بوكس اتس انترستنج صراحه بس يرجع يصير ماي وورد اي ويل باي ذا تو بس هلا اليوم موبايل Python, Fia, Fia, so Python is actually a very good language. Yeah. I think it's quite easier from Swift. Yeah. But I'm talking about I'm talking English. Yeah. It's uh, like TypeScript. TypeScript. Uh, I don't know about TypeScript, so I'm this one. I'm not. I think it's it's a type type format of of JavaScript. I don't know. But I don't know about that one. I understand you. <laughs> Okay, uh, it was really nice to meet you, and I really enjoyed that webinar. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna, thank you. I'm gonna invite you to my connection on LinkedIn, and maybe sure. we can meet another time. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good, have a good night. Bye, Ali. Come on, Rub, Ali, Rub, Rub, Rub. Okay, um, if nobody has any more questions, uh, I would like to thank you so much, Mr. Hassan Jabir. It was really interesting. Oh, it wouldn't have taken this much time, by the way, if it wasn't this interesting, honestly. Usually, the events are like, very interesting, very interactive, like, they take so long, which is good. Uh, thank you so much. Maybe like someday in the future, we can, we can like, um, maybe make a series of workshops you know, like, about iOS app development. I hope I can put input like more deep into details. You no, know, we don't have time like if we do it as a webinar. Yeah, sure. Sure, okay. sure. Just contact me whenever you want. Yes, inshallah. Thank you so much for giving us this much of your time. Really appreciate it. And thanks to everyone sure, who attended. Sure. Uh, of course, the recording of this um, webinar will be posted on our YouTube channel. And uh, you can follow us on our uh, social medias. I'm going to send you the uh, link tree link. Um, on the chat box, mm -hmm. and you can um, check it out if you want. Uh, there's our Instagram, our LinkedIn, our YouTube. Um, what else? Uh, and our Facebook as, uh, as well. Oh, thank you so much again for attending. We hope you make the best out of it. And thank you so much, Mr. Hussain Jabir, again. Thank you all. Thank you all. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Goodbye.